What's going on, cryptocurrency investors? My name's Landon. Welcome to Crypto Review Central. I provide daily cryptocurrency videos covering a wide range of topics from market analysis, price speculation, as well as trending topics. You can find it all right here at Crypto Review Central. We've been keeping you up to date on the recent developments with Bitcoin ETFs and the subsequent support that the community has received from not only experts in the field, but an SEC commissioner herself in Hester Pierce. Aside from the obvious FUD that is birthed from events like this, the market seems poised to continue this upward trajectory that we've recently found ourselves in. Since the BitMEX XBT shorts were liquidated, the morale has been at an all-time high, with the market cap just approaching $300 billion and Bitcoin finding support above $8,000 for the first time in months. Hester Pierce, the SEC, one of the SEC's commissioners, spoke out on Twitter her distaste with the rejection of the Bitcoin ETF. I'm going to read a post from Reddit that sums up what is going on and the high that the markets seem to be on. Almost immediately after the release of the SEC's statement, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce expressed her disappointment with the decision of the agency to reject the Bitcoin ETF that was filed by the Winklevoss twins, noting that Bitcoin, as an asset, is regulated and matured enough to be worthy of U.S. markets. And she was quoted saying, apparently, Bitcoin is not ripe enough, respectable enough, or regulated enough to be worthy of our markets. She then added that the premature decision of the SEC to undermine investor protection by dismissing the institution the institutionalization of the Bitcoin market, which has seen an increase of adoption by regulated financial institutions such as Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Morgan Stanley over the last several months. Despite the optimistic comments of SEC Commissioner Pierce, the price of Bitcoin dropped by more than 4% within a one hour period from 83.15 to 79.30, heavily affected by the rejection of this Winklevoss Bitcoin ETF. Over the past week, Bitcoin and the rest of the community have experienced a strong rally supported by a spike in volume within two days between the 25th of July and the 26th of July. The volume of Bitcoin surged from $3 billion to $6.3 billion, doubling according to the market data provided by Crypto Compare, suggesting that an increase in demand from investors in the public market towards Bitcoin is fully underway. Analysts have generally attributed the climb of Bitcoin's price to the anticipation around the approval of this Bitcoin ETF of which there are multiple currently filed. First is the Chicago Board of Exchange, and that's the one everyone is counting on. But the disapproval of the Winklevoss's Bitcoin ETF has led to a portion of the cryptocurrency community to reevaluate the probability of the proposed CBOE ETF. In this statement, the SEC emphasized that the commission disapproved the filing of the Winklevoss twins because their ETF was not able to meet the requirements of the SEC, and it had an issue with the involvement of the Gemini Exchange in the process of establishing the value of the Bitcoin ETF. Hence, it is possible, given the enthusiastic stance projected by Commissioner Pierce, that the CBOE ETF will get approved in the near future, especially if it successfully covers the issues the SEC had with the previous Bitcoin ETF, the Winklevoss's ETF, which it seems to have done. It's good news for a change, but some Redditors bring up valuable points in that she specifically mentions Bitcoin as being regulated. One Redditor had commented, Bitcoin regulated? Where has this person been in the last nine years? And the op makes an interesting point, as there's no regulation in this market. The onus is on you to do your own research and make informed decisions. Use content creators like myself, as well as the crypto resources available to you to make informed investment decisions. Not everyone is well well-intentioned and just like the FUD that was spun out of this Winklevoss ETF rejection, you can't take everything you see on the internet at face value. That seems so silly when I say it, but it's true. And remember, a lot of these publications have been known to spout sensationalist headlines in the past. Many provide valuable information, but it's not always in the most unbiased way. If you ever see or think I'm wrong, I encourage the discussion in the comments and I will always try to bring value to you as a cryptocurrency researcher. Continue to follow our daily content on this evolving cryptocurrency space as I provide market analysis on trending topics. So smash that like button if you've enjoyed any of our videos and subscribe if you haven't already. We are giving away $50 in Bitcoin as soon as we hit 200 likes on a video. So comment something of value along with your Bitcoin wallet address to get yourself entered. Thanks again to the CRC crew for your continued support. This bear market might just be over, so make sure to do all of your own research and happy trading everyone.